Yes, welcome everybody to uh, whatever edition we're up to with the Spearhead Podcast live with me, Steve BC. Thanks for tuning in again. So good to see so many of you tuning in so early on. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, hello. Can't believe there's 74 of us, including me, already tuned in. Great to see you on whatever the heck edition of the Spear podcast we're on. You can see today I've made a little upgrade. You can see my control area. I just want people to know that this really is live and unplanned. And after like about six, seven weeks of doing this, I finally managed to uh, connect my GoPro so that we can have an extra camera angle. It's totally unnecessary. I just wanted to do it because I could. I'm trying to learn more about live streaming. If you saw how good I am at technical stuff, the GoPro that shows you this here is actually uh, just got like a massive watch of blue tack to stick it to the screen. And that's it, that's how we roll. So keeping it old school. So the track you've just heard is uh, for the intro today, Never Too Old featuring Emily Mackis. That's by Monroe and it's out now on Shogun. As always, I'll stick all the tracks I play today that are out in the Spearhead um, Spotify playlist, which the link is pinned to the top of the chat. And uh, yeah, I've got loads of new stuff for you today, some old stuff. Obviously, I'll answer your questions, do some shouts, and we'll have a little bit of fun. Uh, the Spotify playlist, by the way, it won't let you copy and paste the link on your phone. So the Spotify playlist is called Spearhead Presents. And uh, if you just search for Spearhead Presents, it says Spearhead Presents curated by BC, and you can join it there. Right, this one then, it's New Tone on the remix of Teak's Sunshine.
is what it's like where you are, but it has not been sunshine here today. Hence why I wanted to play this, I think. Bring the sunshine out. Been absolutely hammering it down. Good to see some regulars locked on already. So big up Mark Lanchester and Bridget Lanchester, who's started to embrace the drum and bass. Big up Will Hook. Will, send your love to Mal and Kai and everybody else for me. I don't know if you, you guys still locked down, but uh, great to see you tuned in, mate. And well, loads of others from all over the world already, from Australia, from Germany, and from my village. Love it. Yes, big up Tim. I feel like I'm getting a bit radio. Big up this person, big up this. We're going, we're going corrupt FM. Like I say, get your shouts in if you want to. Get your questions in if you want to. I'll try and play a few requests. I'll try and shout out as many of you as I can. Going for this one. Dawn Wall, I should have been there. Yes, Kai. Hello to you and Mal. Big up yourselves. Are you still locked in? Well, it's a little bit early on for this. It's obviously been one of them weeks, so uh, we don't want any more of that track. As I said, live and unplanned. You can see what I'm doing. Stopping the wrong deck like two tunes in. Saying the best start. Okay, I was going to save this till a bit later on. But as I've played it by mistake, this is Nerd Step. It is NERD. Uh, Tony Coleman, aka London Electricity. This is a sampling genius, this track. He just for fun, uh, how this track came about, it's just for fun. He took a whole album from NERD. And he sampled parts of it and then made this track from purely from samples from the NERD album. He might have added the bass line and stuff, but this is great. So this is what it's all about for me. Sampling, drum and bass is part of sam sampling culture. I still love sampling. It's become a weird thing now where people kind of get slated for doing too many samples. That's not how it started off. So anyway, this one, Nerd Step from Tony Coleman. And I'm going to do a quick shout out for Mandip and Sam in India. Here are my tunes to keep them live. Big up, you guys. duck situation last year really has left its impact hasn't it we haven't had any comeback this year but big up Pavel who says he's sending his love from Berno 
and he's got his duck pattern socks on to watch the stream in the style it deserves. And it's good weather for ducks in Melbourne, I hear, so a bit wet there today. Thank you for the shouts over the beard, saying it's not looking quite so unruly today. I am still embracing this lockdown thing. I really wanted to cut my hair off this week, but I'm not going to shave or cut my hair until the lockdown's over. But I must confess, this week, the beard is not looking quite as unruly because I did get out of the trimmers, make some adjustments and lose a little bit under here. Where I was kind of getting a neck beard. That's, that's never good in any situation. Big up to Dash Dortmund as well, who says he played the uh, BC dub plate to a crowd yesterday. Mate, I'm glad you can have crowds somewhere. That's fantastic in itself. Um, there is a brand new BC dub plate number three up for order on the Spare Bandcamp page. I've put the link for the Bandcamp page in the uh, pinned comments. But it's speardrecords.bandcamp.com and you can buy an, uh, you can pre-order another vinyl with four absolutely exclusive BC tracks on. The uh, number two, if you've ordered number two, it's due to arrive on me on Thursday and I will get it out to you Friday, uh, all being well. Also, if you look in the comment, drop uh, the pinned comments for this today, you'll see I've put a couple of things in there. You can pre-save the BC Charlotte Hainin and Tempter track in the moment that's out next Friday. Um, pre-save that on Spotify. Please go and do that, even if you bought it, just go and do it on Spotify. It really, really helps and makes a difference to show your support for the label. And also, I'll play you a couple of tracks from this today. You can go and get this now from the Bandcamp page, the next EP from the Vanguard Project, called Duck's Life EP. Oh no. It's taken a year, but the Duck's Life EP has appeared. Duck related. We know that you all like the ducks. So go and check that out. I'll play a couple of tracks from it in a little while, and you can order that on the Spear Bandcamp page too. Let's have something from Wilkinson. This is... Uh, I love Wilkinson stuff. He managed to do it commercially, yet still keep that keep that drum and bass rawness. This one's Sweet Lies featuring Karen Hardin. And I love it. Softly, here upon my pillow, when our words are spoken, you're here with me. So tell me those sweet lies I'm not giving up your 
I only live for your touch Enough love for the both of us Wasted Impossible to face it Can we keep it in the shadows? Okay, thank you for letting me know that the uh, Spotify playlist link was broken. It should be now fixed. I've repinned the comments. So go and subscribe to that there. Thank you very much. Right, this one is out now. It's by Terra. It's on my other label, Future Retro. It's called Into You, and it features Image and Story. And you can get this from, uh, you know, you can stream it anywhere or go to the Bandcamp page and grab it from there. I was going to mix it, but I was faffing about fixing that link. So that last one, then a new artist called Terra. It's Into You. And uh, I'll put it in the playlist at the end. Now that you can follow the playlist, you can work that out. 
Big up Barnaby, I'm glad you liked the new camera angle. I thought it was totally unnecessary and it's held on with blue tack if you missed me saying. So it might fall off halfway through, but for now it works. My hair hasn't been sorted out. I just kind of done that a few times and uh, it's all good. Cheers, Anne. Hope you are and the family are well, by the way. This one then, absolute classic. If you like drum and bass, you know this. If you don't, it might be new. So I'll tell you what it is. It's Tides featuring Lele and it's by New Tone. Give it back to me. Please return my mind. I sleep breathlessly. This isn't what love defines. Give it back to me. Please return my mind. I sleep breathlessly. This isn't what love defines. Tune. That is one of my favourite new tone tracks. Absolutely amazing vocals. It's called Tides. Like I said, I'll put it in the playlist so that you can enjoy the whole thing. Now, I'm going to play Surface in. I keep getting requests for this one. One of my most streamed tracks featuring uh, Lucy Kitchen. And whilst the intro's kicking in, I want to tell you about a, a classic bit of BC stupidity from this week. So I could be on some kind of list after this which isn't a good thing. I just had a text from my wife since I was here, Andy, and uh, she said to me, why did I send my daughter's teacher a picture of me in my boxer shorts? Of course, I was like, uh, pardon? Anyway, I'll, I'll show you the picture. So my daughter has to send her pictures of her work into the school, and this is the picture that I sent in of this paper tower up the middle. However, unfortunately... If you look in the reflection on the screen there, I won't leave it there for too long. But I have indeed sent my daughter's teacher, my daughter's primary school teacher, a picture of me, all guts out, standing in my boxer shorts. I'm, I'm not sure where we go from there. But uh, yeah, you know, if you've got any other similar stories, feel free to share them. This is my life, people. Lockdown sending me crazy. Maybe I'll get a picture back. Uh, maybe I'll get an email about asking for more. Who knows? Anyway, this is Surfacing, featuring Lucy Kitchen by me. like your approach follow up with a higher quality picture I mean you could 
But I still want my kids to be able to go to the same school, you know? Feels like I'm coming up for it Surfacing Like I've been holding my breath Inhaling My first cause, my first cause Feels like I've been frozen Not sure if this one's out yet, but it's coming very soon. This is Jungle, and it's the Influx remix. Somebody replied to the diploma and was like, "That's not Jungle." No, it's not Jungle. It's called Jungle. It isn't Jungle music because it was kind of a commercial tune that's been remixed into drum and bass. But I will add it to the playlist when it's up there. So it's the Influx remix. Influx with two X's. It's Doug Cubix on the remix. Cubix and me have already started a couple of tunes. We're nowhere near finishing one. And there will be some new Cubics in BC, hopefully if we get something finished. And it's a bit early to promise, but we will see. Few people mentioning the old spearhead neon t-shirt here too this hasn't been available for about four or five years uh, my wardrobe is mainly full of spearhead stuff because i just take them off the shelf here funnily enough I might redo this one though if there's a demand for it i think it still holds its own designed by mr penfold for me
Big up, Mr. Chris Marigold tuned in. Hello, mate. The one and only Blue Martin, my agent and more, my friend. Okay, this track's called Mr. Poppy. It's taken from this, the Ducks Life EP, which you can get over at Spearhead Bandcamp now. Link in the comments. It's actually out on Friday, but I will post the vinyl straight away. You'll have to just wait for the digital. That comes with a vinyl. And then I'll add it to the playlists. This is called Mr. Poppy because, now, if you haven't got kids, you may not have seen this, but there's an amazing film called Nativity. I don't know if anybody's seen Nativity, but Andy said to me, uh, you are in this movie. And apparently, uh, I remind quite a lot of people I know of Mr. Poppy. They think the character may have been based on me. So I don't know if you've seen the movie and maybe have that resemblance or not. If you haven't, go and check out Nativity. It's a bit of the wrong time of year. But all the regular rules are out the window with lockdown. had a message back from Luke LSB as well, which is good news. I messaged Luke earlier on because I have a brand new, I've got two actually, I don't think I played the other one yet, but I certainly haven't played one of these. A brand new remix from the DRS and LSB album by Technimatic. And it's been given the thumbs up to give that a play in a little while, so we'll check that out. I'm going to play a track for you next called Run For Cover. It was on my Shout In About Nothing album. And uh, those of you budding producers out there, one of the kind of arguments that often comes up in these drum and bass forums, I mean, they're stupid arguments anyway. In fact, Chris once, Blue Martin, posted a, two, a picture of two robot hoovers next to each other. He just said something like the future, and he put a Pioneer logo. He might have just put a Pioneer logo, stuck it in the DMB forum. People went mental, speculating about what this system was from Pioneer. They, until somebody ruined it and found out what they were. Two robot hoovers, that was all it took to uh, start something kicking off. Anyway, if you're into sampling and uh, using sample packs and stuff, there's often this debate, is it cool to use sample packs? If you, you know, you've got to take the samples and make them your own. In this case, I took a sample from Splice on this track, a vocal sample. Now, it wasn't just me, as a well-known producer that did that. Spy did the same thing. Chase and Status did the same thing, and I think Document One did it and then realised and then resampled theirs because it sounds very similar. Uh, so Run For Cover has got a vocal that, you know, they all kind of came out at the same time. We didn't. There you go. That's what happens. You use, I should have got it re-sung or something. Still a sick tune. I'm really happy with it. But that is why me, Spy, Chase and Status, all well-established producers, are clearly using sample packs as well as making our own stuff. So if you're a producer and worried about that, make them your own, man. Who cares? I mean, it's a sick tune. I still like it, and I think and hope you do. I'm going to play it. We'll see. Can't run away from themselves. No, can't run away 
In fact, I've just remembered why I used so many samples for this track uh, from sample packs. It was a couple of years ago, like three years ago, two, three years ago, at Let It Roll Festival. And it had been such a dry summer. Like Let It Roll Festival was just like, if you'd been there, you'd know it was just like clouds and clouds of dirt. And there was me, LSP, Hybrid Minds, playing in this kind of one of the stages, like a big tent. And the decks and the Pioneer were just like, covered in thick dust that you had to keep wiping off. Everybody was dancing with like like shirts over their mouths. And we were all coughing up black crap for days. So anyway, because it was like that, as soon as my set finished, I'll ju I just went back to the hotel, uh, but I was still wide awake. And so put my laptop on and made 80% of this track um, just by downloading some samples in the hotel room. And it's called Run For Cover. And it's on my album, Shouting About Nothing. And it, like I keep saying, I'll put all these in the Spotify playlist at the end. This one then, it's Sane featuring Leo Law. It's by Fade. It might be Fade Black, actually, I think is the artist's name. Again, I'll find it and put it in a playlist. And it's out on Critical Recordings. And I love this one. If you've got any questions or anything, you know, chuck them in the chat. 
I've still got quite a few tracks I want to play today before sticking in some requests, but I am noting stuff you say. It's just if you ask for like an LSB tune and I'm planning to play three others, I might not play it. But do feel free to ask. And uh, yeah, keep keep the uh, keep the comments coming, peeps. It keeps me going. Follow me. I'm going to play you the new Villain and McLeod single next because uh, it's out in a couple of weeks' time. Reflect. It's called Siren featuring Leo Wood. And I will try and get a pre or pre save thing up for that this week. You can pre order it over at the Spearhead Bank Camp. <laughs> I mean, when I said ask some questions, I didn't really have, did I rate pickles in mind? But, I mean, yeah, I can't, I, I like Branston pickle. I don't mind answering it. Do I plan on making any more garage tunes? I'd like to, but I've got so many ideas for other drum and bass tunes at the moment. And I kind of used all my garage ideas in one thing. So it isn't going to be just yet. But maybe in a few, I'd, lo- I'd love to do a garage album, to be honest. It ain't going to be for a while. Right, and a queue up Siren featuring Leo Wood by Willem and McLeod. Facebook is doing its lovely thing of identifying music like I'm not allowed to play. On a track like I am definitely allowed to play because it's on my label. So if we get cut off, I will just resume as quickly as possible. But I, I am sticking to Facebook just because we've got such a good community on here. Somebody asking about me putting these on YouTube as well. Yeah, last week I started recording these and I am putting them on the Spearhead Records LTD YouTube channel now as well, uh, but only as an archive. Um, yeah, hopefully we won't get booted off. We'll see how it goes. Let me tell you though, like, what I, like, like so many requests now, I'll never be able to do them all. Uh, let me tell you what I have got to play you today though. I've got a brand new track from me and Charlotte Hainan, finished this week. I've got a brand new LSB Technomatic remix. I've got brand new, new artist called Ember, who is also part of Dexcel, and has started making his own music kind of lockdown has brought out a lot of people's creativity. Dave from Dexel has started making his own stuff 
as well as uh, Dexel's not splitting up or anything like that, they're still going. It's just he's shut in and furloughed from work, so he's been making loads and loads of music. And it's flipping amazing. I played a couple of bits last week, I just didn't tell you who it was. So uh, next though, oh, do you know what? I'm going to change what I was going to play next because I don't want Facebook to kick us off. So I'm going to play something else on my own label where the channel's been whitelisted. Okay, I'm going to play you something that's unreleased. It shouldn't be tagged on Facebook's thingamies. Yeah, it's really annoying. I know we can use Twitch. I know we can use YouTube. But when I start the stream on here, everybody's Facebook kicks off. We've got a bit of a community going. So we are going to fight the powers that be. And I'll just resume and then I'll put the whole thing on YouTube at the end and splice it together. Anyway... We're just going to keep going, and I'm just going to trust that if we do drop off, you'll just stick with me for five minutes whilst I sort it out. This is an absolutely brand new remix. I was asked to talk over it because of how new it is. It's by Technomatic. The track's called Scarred. And it's, of course, from LSB and DRS's album, The Blue Hour. Or maybe we won't come that far Trying to hold them in our arms Trying to fight off love when it's the only thing we ever dreamed of We're gaining some traction on here now. I think this might be like an exclusive stream. Brand new exclusive. Every heart's old in scar tissue, yeah. But I had a bruise from any past issues. From the first to the greatest love you'll ever know. To the empty feeling in your body when they let you go. To the empty feeling in your body when you let them go. And the only person to console you is the one that's flown. Thinking back to every single time we lost control. And if we could go back, I tried to act more rational. Too much passive aggression should have been laughing more. So much wasted time spent kicking, shouting at your door. Should have thought we couldn't live apart forever flawed. Should have thought we couldn't live apart forever yours. To every single second of the day I spent thinking about them. Should have thought what every single day would be without them. Nothing. For all the fallen tears, your eyelids lost the count of. For all the fallen tears, your eyelids lost the count of. Yeah. So I'm not sure if there's a full remix album or not, but I know that there are definitely at least three remixes four of uh, these tracks actually at least four that I know about so I'm guessing there must be a remix album of the Blue Hour coming we know the concept. and this is going to be on it and it will be on footnotes that's as much as I know always listening in relationships it makes decisions they're always listening in relationships it makes decisions the funny things we know the consequence of bad decisions but we still make them open when they're spoken no one listens they're always listening in relationships it makes decisions the funny things we know the consequence of bad decisions
I mean, pretty good, innit? Scar Technomatic on the remix LSB DRS. I am just drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. Let me tell you this. I'm drinking coffee from this company, Square House Coffee Co. This coffee company is owned by Doug Cubics. And the email address for it is squarehouse.coffee. If you want to get some amazing coffee, head there. He sent me a cup because I've just been like, I usually have like four costas a day or something. That's why I'm such a fat git. And uh, I've stopped drinking that. So I've been ordering so much coffee from him. He started sending me cups. Big up, Mr. Cubics. Right, I'm going to play you Duck's Life. This is the title track. I'm going to show you it again. Go and buy one of these. Support the cause. Vanguard Project Duck's Life EP. We go from the light to the heavy to the jazzy. And this is the title track, Duck's Life. If I get cut off for this one, I'm going to be annoyed. Anyway, Duck's Life, my track. And you can go and buy that now. Claire, did I just tip it down myself? I mean, you should know by now if you've been watching these, I am full of calamity. Just a, t a, t a tiny, tiny little bit. That nicely wipes off. <laughs> but yes. I'm not going to use any rude words. Are there any ducks actually featuring in the track, Anna? I don't know, maybe just as a little Atmos there might be. Eric, I can't do this every day, mate. It's such a, it's actually a lot of hard work getting all the music together and prepping for this. I would have done a bank holiday special, except it's my daughter's birthday on Monday. So obviously I'm having a day off and spending it with her. I'm not doing any anything else. I would bring back Duck Watch, Terry, but there's no ducks to watch. Well, actually, I say there's no ducks to watch. I'll post some pictures on Instagram because our garden, see, the word has got out, our garden's safe for ducks. So we've got free chickens. You might have seen it. If, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow Instagram, Steve BC, uh, and you'll see we've started growing veg. We've got some chickens. Look, we've, they've been doing two out of three of them are laying every day, which is good. I don't know what third one's playing at. We might eat that. Good job. The rest of the family's vegetarian. And... Um, uh, yeah, the duck, those our garden's full of flipping ducks every day. It's like three or four just come and have a chill till the dog chases them off. So I think word has got out. It's just a bit more boring when they're adults. I have to admit, though, we were sitting eating dinner in the kitchen uh, last night or the night before, and I looked round, and uh, I actually saw this twice and didn't do anything about it because we've been spending so much time in the garden with the chickens walking about. They're just totally free range. La um. Oh, have I been booted off? Oh, no, it's all good. I thought I'd been kicked off. My screen went blank. Anyway, we've been walking around the garden so much with the chickens everywhere. Like, I saw it twice and the third time I looked down, I realised, why is there a chicken in the kitchen? He just walked in the back door. So we've had to fashion a little fence now to um, stop the chickens coming in the house. It was just drinking out of the dog bowl. The other day, my wife, Andy, she left a cup of tea outside and there was a chicken drinking that. Anyway, children and animals, don't work with them.
So that's it, Duck's Life. I don't think it actually ends quite as abruptly as that on the released version. I could only find an old version to put on the USB stick. Anyway, I'm going to give you an absolute brand new exclusive. This is a collab between me and Ember, E-M-B-A, Ember. No tracks out yet from Ember, but it's Dave from Dexel now doing his little side project. We uh, just battered some stuff, some ideas back and forth over the last couple of weeks. I don't even know when this is going to be out or if it will ever come out, but we made this. It features a vocalist called Lita, who I've done some other tracks with but that aren't out yet. This is a bit of a... I don't know, I'm just going to let you have a listen to it and see what you think. It's a bit different. I will say no more until you've heard of it. I'm going to play you three brand new unreleased things in a row. How's that for a treat? Producers asking about the bass line. It's the uh, Fab Filter uh, stuff, distortion stuff. Amazing stuff. If you haven't used Fab Filter stuff, check it out. Mr. Airshots is on. Big up, Leon Airshots. By the way, I said this already. You obviously weren't listening or tuned in. How dare you not be in from the start? Not new T-shirts at all, I'm afraid. About four or five years old. But I might redo them because so many people today are like, oh, you've got new T-shirts. Anyway, I'm going to play you something else brand new then. This is a brand new one from the forthcoming Charlotte Haney and BC album. Um, finished a couple. There's nine tracks finished now for this project. Two remixes coming, one collab on the way, and then it's done. Um, so last week I talked about the kind of writing process, and I keep saying this, but if you haven't checked it out yet, go to Urban Creative on YouTube, find the link, see how me and Charlotte write the lyrics. Um... This track is dedicated to two friends of mine. I'm not going to name them. It's their story that we kind of took and uh, made into a track. But I just want to send them a big shout and loads and loads of love. And I feel at the moment like this is one of the best tracks we've made for the album. I've kind of done you a treat because nowhere else other than here and me and Charlotte stream are playing the unreleased stuff. We haven't even given them out. Um, so if you want, if you really were desperate to, you can watch back through all of the previous streams of, of this and get the whole album probably um, with me talking all over them you'll have to wait go and pre-order in the moment I might play that before we finish but anyway this one isn't out yet this one isn't out yet either but check this beast out it's called Endlessly Unlimited it's by me and Charlotte Haining Album's coming out in October. Four singles before that. The first one next Friday. See what you think to this. 
just going to talk over this bit because I don't really want it being ripped I'm going to let it play into the second drop though endlessly unlimited this one is yeah by the way I have joined the um, Friday night Charlotte Hainan Chimps uh, Temps uh, Appreciation Facebook group. Love those guys. I hope you feel that to you. Know my love's forever. Wish I could take the pain away. Wish I could go another way. Wish I could find the words to say. But I don't understand this time. No, I need you to hold on Yeah, so like I, I must have said this already, I mean, I hope this, we'll see how this album goes down. I mean, you lot are loving it. And I, I just, if nothing else, I've so enjoyed creating this album with Charlotte and doing something a bit different. Um, you know, we have got, basically, we tried to keep it as upbeat as possible, kind of chilled, but still that we'll work in a club environment, not just super weirdly chilled. We tried to make drum and bass we like. I'll just check out this Mr. T sample. Wait for it. So if God is for me, who in the world can be against me? Just got a little bit of Mr. an interview with Mr. T in at the end, because I thought it was sick. I've been waiting to get that in the tune for ages. Anyway, this album with me and Charlotte, the reason I'm so excited about it is because I don't think it's been done before. We've written drum and bass, that's so kind of for the dance floor, still uplifting, but we've got lyrics about suicide, about mental health, about um, not worrying, about adoption, about losing a baby. Uh, I mean, it goes on and on and on. So, I mean, uh, and it, it's kind of like our stories, uh, friends' stories that we poured into this thing, but still at the drum and bass tempo. And still, Charlotte's got the knack, like I keep saying, of just 
making it so it could be accessible to other people as well. And that's why I'm so excited that even if it totally flops commercially, uh, I've enjoyed making it so much. It's like our diary entries. And I think it's promising that you lot seem to like it. Right. I told you I'd play you three new tracks in a row. This is track number three, or three in a row. This is coming out. This is going to be the first single from Dave Wilson, a.k.a. Ember. With me, uh, this is one of the couple, couple of tracks that we've made together in the lockdown. And it also features a vocalist I hadn't worked with for a long, long time. But she's back on some drummer bass. It features Philippa Hanna, who sung Back to the Streets. It's called Galaxy. And uh, I hope you like it. This is going to be out in a month or so. Someone saying summary as well. Yeah, she did. Uh, Philippa sung on summary with me. She sung Forest with Hybrid Minds. She did a track on the Bungle album. She sung a track uh, with me. I can't remember what it's called, but Break remixed it as well. Um, yeah, she's done a few drum and bass tracks. I absolutely love working with Philippa. So it was great to get her back on this. To answer the question on vinyl, um, is Faction's new EP going to be on vinyl? Well, I've made some difficult decisions with regard to vinyl. Vinyl sales over the last couple of years, you know, we keep reading, they're going up, they're, they're not for us. They're absolute, every time I do a vinyl, um, we don't make any money on it at all. It's just a case of trying to break even. That's got harder and harder. With the lockdown and people kind of like being a bit up and down with money at the moment and Speared's cash flow is like because no events or DJing. Um, so we've got no money to, to press any vinyl. So we, it won't be on vinyl as such. However, I don't want to lose vinyl. I, I really think it's a good thing. So my plan is this. Um, what I'm going to do at the end of the year is instead of doing like loads and loads of little vinyls, my plan is at the end of the year to do a kind of, to do another compilation, a bit of an annual if you like. And I'm going to take all the tracks that um, have been a bit bigger in the year. So I'll take a couple or maybe all of them, but some of the faction tracks like Philemon McLeod singles, a couple of my singles uh, and, and maybe some brand new stuff as well. And we'll wrap that up into at least a 12 track package um, where it's all on vinyl. Um, probably won't do a CD because nobody buys them at all anymore, but vinyl and streaming uh, so that you, you can still get something a little bit collectible. It's kind of works out better for you because it costs less money as well. Uh, so that's the plan. That's the plan. It all, it's all open to change. But that's the plan at the moment. And this track, I would plan to be on that. The Charlotte Hayne in BC album, we probably will do on vinyl um, because my stuff tends to sell quite well on vinyl.
hospital do do coloured vinyls and things. I saw somebody commenting on that. However, hospitals turnover or just their online shop is three times my turnover for the entire company. So we're quite different sized companies. Uh, hence why. <laughs> hence they can afford to. So this one, the pre-save link for Spotify. Even if you like hardly use Spotify and you've already bought this on Bandcamp or something, go and click that pre-save link because it really, really helps to um, get it playlisted on Spotify and stuff. So this is in the moment. It's out next Friday. Please go and click the link. I'll let this one roll. I've popped the pre-save link in the chat again. tune flops on Spotify I'm going to cry because it's got the most attention for ages I think I might be over hopeful One people have pre-saved it since we started this, so big up. You know That's what I was just looking at. scared just breathe tomorrow will be there tomorrow will be there yes templeton 
Right, another track that's out right now by the amazingly talented faction featuring the uh, equally talented Rhea. This one is out. It's the first track from um, the EP. It's called The Fall. Features Rhea. There, go and stream it. Somebody had asked if I was going to keep doing these. I just remembered. Um, I'm going to keep doing them as long as lockdown is on, and as long as um, basically, as long as my Saturdays are clear and my ki- and my kids are around in the week, I'm going to keep doing them. If my kids both have to go back to school full time, so I don't see them all week, uh, I won't be doing this on a Saturday afternoon anymore. But I will switch it and do it in the week. Uh, appreciate some of you might be at work then. Uh, you know. Anyway. But as long as we aren't doing shows out somewhere, I will keep doing some kind of visual podcast as long as I can. Because I'm enjoying it. And I'll probably try and do it once a month or so. I'll probably try and do it a bit less frequency um, once we can get out there again. But you know what? I can't see there being, I've said this before, but I can't see there being any large gatherings in the UK for our kind of music. Probably until this time next year. So you got me for a while yet. course saying that I've never been happier if I'm proven wrong on something.
We're definitely going to be here till September anyway because uh, uh, I've already said I'm not, you know, one of, my, one of my girls is in year six. She might go back, but other than that, we ain't going back to school till September. So we're here until September at the earliest. Right, all the tracks I've been playing for a bit since Facebook gave me a warning have been um, ones that I 100% own the copyright for. I'm going to play a tune that's on hospital in a minute. So if we get kicked off, I'll just come back on as quickly as I can and trust that you'll all join me again. Um, he who dares. Yeah, this one then it's Todd Terry Bounce to the Beat Serum on the remix. It's taken from Hospital Records Sick Music 2020. What an album that is. Now, I know some of you guys have been watching the uh, Tempster and Charlotte Hainan Instagram feeds on a Friday night, me included. I've been trying to get back into like. I'm trying to do the, I've been doing the counts to 5k at the moment and it kind of swings in on a Friday night often with when I'm running and then having a bath. I did uh, call them from my bath the other week. Anyway, last night they played this track that I'm going to play right now. Uh, a really old one of mine, collab with Hybrid Minds. It's made me actually really want to do an up-to-date version. Um, Hybrid Minds have obviously grown a lot since this and I don't want to upset their management, so we'll see. Um, I do own it and own all the rights. Anyway, without getting into the politics of things, I might do a remix of this. Just update it a bit. Anyway, it's called Cut Me Loose. It's by Hybrid Minds. Ah, oh, see, Gareth Dawson is tuned in from SRD. Gareth, Facebook are trying to kick me off. You're the man to help sort it out. But we're still going for now, so it's all good. Right, Cut Me Loose featuring Hybrid Minds. This is taken from my album, Come and Join Us. You can get this from the Spared Bandcamp or stream it now. Also, Rocky NT on vocals from Lost and Found. Call me 
yeah, I know, Gareth. Thank you, mate. I know you're doing your bit, really. It was a critical record to one, I think. How dare they? I'll have to have a word with hospital as well, make sure we're all good. We'll get there. It's just the best place to stream still because everybody's already here. I'm playing it safe now and sticking to my own label. very difficult to do a BC a remix of this because it is a collab with me in the first place I've kind of used my ideas I was thinking a little bit of wobble in it now we're good with Merlin on the old streaming most of the time because they do mine Yeah, big shout, Steve Ryer. Haven't seen you in a while, mate. Hope you're well. only been actually taken off air once in what seven weeks or is this eight I don't even know how many we've done anyway this one features villain playing the guitar and me cutting up samples it's called burning up and this is coming out on hospital records uh, this summer burning up by the Vanguard project Thank 
Getting so used to like DJing and then just picking up the mic. I don't think I'm going to need an MC anymore when we get back to clubs. I'm just going to start having a chat with everybody. Could be the way forward. John B used to do it with like a mic off of um, like one of the mics that just plugs into the mixer. Anyway, that one is burning up by the Vanguard Project. I'm going to play you something now that um, you might you might have noticed. I was doing a Patreon Patreon page. I stopped because it was just absolutely. I was getting so much stuff in there. It was just overwhelming for time. And I'm um, homeschooling the kids and everything else at the moment. Anyway, uh, I had a couple of, I, I put some stems on there for a track of mine called Captured in Time, an old track of mine. I had two or three remixes come back and one of them actually I just downloaded today and I really, really like it. So I'm going to play you this. It's by an artist called DPR. And this is his take on my track Captured in Time, which is from my first album, Beat the System. So I don't know if Dan, Dan Ellison is tuned in. Uh, that's his actual name, DPR. But this is the DPR remix of BC Captured in Time, world exclusive. Just had a message from uh, my daughter, Isla, who wants me to tell you all that it's her birthday on Monday. Isla, I know you haven't been listening for the whole thing because I've already told everybody that I would have done a Bank Holiday Monday special, but I can't because it's your birthday. And in the comments on this, loads of people have been saying happy birthday to you. So happy birthday, Isla. Hope you're keeping mummy in check at home. And uh, we're all wishing you a happy birthday for Monday. I will obviously be there. If anyone wants to support my daughter's birthday, please buy products from spearheadrecords.bandcamp.com and I'll give her 1p for every download. It's done a really good job on this remix. Kept the vibe. Just twisted it up a little bit, you know. Really good, man. Good afternoon, Mr. Slater. Hope you're well.
Yeah, great remix from DPR on Captured in Time. He just did that as part of me uploading the um, stems. Things smashed it. Really good work, man. Really, really proud of that. Um, forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was going to say big up Wayne Exuberant, an absolute top fan who I didn't big up the other week. So big up, Wayne. Good to see your name pop up. This is the second single from the BC Haining album featuring Everwood and it's called A Little Bit Lighter. It's out in like three weeks time. that Caption Time remix isn't available anywhere. And I kind of want it to say like that for now. I might sign it. I mean, I didn't want to, I wasn't going to say that, but I kind of like it. I might release that, you know. The DPR remix, yeah. It's bloody good. Uh, very good. Oh, I wasn't going to swear on here. Sorry. Sorry, Isla, if you're still listening. one isn't up for pre-save yet but it will be soon and in fact if you do uh, pre-save.io slash spear records I think this is working I was trying to set this up and run out of time if you do pre-save dot pre-save dot io forward slash spear records you should be able to make it so that it pre-saves into a playlist every single thing that comes out on Spearhead. Um, I will try and finish setting that up to make sure it works for next week. If you want to do that, I think it's already up. something fairly brand new um, I played it on the Australia tour but I only just about had it for that and not even the finished version and so it's only been in lockdown at the minute this track is Magic Words featuring Degs it's level on the remix and for you collectors out there this track features on the third edition of the BC dub plates so this is not going to come out until probably next year um, but if you want it now, just on vinyl, you can go to the Spear Records Bandcamp and this is on the uh, PC dub plate number three. And already I only put that on, f I, I uploaded the, um, put it on sale five minutes before this and nearly half of them have gone. So if you want to grab this and the dub plate, go over to speardrecords.bandcamp.com and grab it. And this is one of the tracks on there.
Headphones, a little comment on them, they are just Sennheisers. Uh, HD8 DJ. They're more expensive than the 25s, but I don't like the way them 25s, you don't know what I'm talking about because it's a bit geeky and you're not a DJ, then fine. Just tune out for a minute. But the HD 25s, they kind of always twist round on my head and I get through them. I like ones that when I'm DJing, I can just kind of sit there, hence the HD8s. The only slightly annoying thing about them is that the adapter at the end is a weird screw on one it normal adapters don't fit so I've had to buy a couple of spares and I'm I ruined one the other week when it got stuck in here anyway this one then is Roygabiv R-O-G R-O-Y G-B-I-V Roygabiv by the Boards of Canada and this is new tone on the remix unofficial Pretty sure this didn't ever come out. It's flipping brilliant. This is a few years old, but um, still so good. I think the thing I'm most amazed about on today's uh, Spearhead Live and Unplanned with me BC is that my GoPro has uh, successfully stayed in position for the entire time with like a massive clump of blue tack stuck to the top of the computer. <laughs> so professional. Okay, this one uh, is actually available to get on the Spearhead Bandcamp if you have a look. It came out as a limited edition 510 inch blue 10 inch 
This is By Your Side by Spy. And uh, yeah, you can get the digital version on the Spear Bandcamp. It's like a quid. Um, this is By Your Side, remixed by me and Hybrid Minds. We've only got like 10 minutes left. I've selected a couple of good, well, I've selected one good track to finish. I'm going to find one other one. I know what I'm finishing with today. And then that's it. But I want to leave you wanting more. So we'll let this one play by your side, course by Spy, me and Hybrid Minds on the remix. you want to get hold of that the only place that you can get it legitimately is speedrecords.bandcamp.com uh, and it, it's also got the Kino and Whiny remix as well right two more tracks to go and that's it for today I am going to play you my remix of Frozen by uh, LSB and DRS check this beast out I think I played this last week near the end such a hard one to remix because the original is so good and in a similar style to what I do. Um, I kind of thought, how would Calibre approach this? It'd give it a different, more kind of moody piano. It'd have made it better than me, but um, so that's what I did. So this is for coming on footnotes. I assume it's going to be coming out with the Technomatic remix that like I played earlier and some other bits. No. I don't know for certain, but it will be coming out. It will be on footnotes. Um, and also, I played a remix of Cap uh, Capture My Heart. Yeah, Capture My Heart. Um, a few weeks back, I asked Luke the other day if he was going to ever do anything with that. He never sent me the second part of the vocals, so it always repeats the same bit. I think as a result of that conversation, that might come out at some point too. Um, we will see. Anyway, Frozen, DRS and LSB, me on the remix. It's over, we'll never laugh about this one day, no way, I believe that when a love can take you so high, the situation's only going one way, one way, but I'm a sucker for love, believe me that's what it does, I'm blindfolded heading down a one way, one way, but I'm a sucker for love, believe me that's what it does. Oh, 
Feels like we're frozen There won't be a dry eye Obviously not a lot of people know this, but um, DRS wrote this because he is such a massive, massive fan of the Frozen franchise, no, I, uh, especially Elsa and Anna. Well, that's about it for this week. I've got one more tune to play. Hello, Ben Lower. You're a bit late to the party, bruv, I'm afraid. So I've got one more tune to play, an absolutely classic from DJ Marky and, and uh, Marky and Bungle. If you want to grab the Spearhead BC Dublate number three, if you want to grab the Ducks Life EP or anything else, please head over to speareadrecords.bandcamp.com. And you can buy loads of stuff on there. Please click the pinned link and follow the Spearhead Spotify and pre-save Charlotte Hainan and BC in the moment. By this time next week, it will be out. Um, I have got Spearhead slip mats for sale, actually. I'm not sure if they're on Bandcamp. If you go, just go and order them from the Spearhead shop, we're not officially shipping at the moment, but if I see an order from for some Spearhead slip mats, I will ship them. Uh, there's one on my deck, but it's covered in crap and you can't see it, it's out of sight. Anyway... Show some love. Uh, hopefully this time next week, there'll be like 20,000 streams on In The Moment. We'll see. It's coming out Friday. Share it when it does. Pre-save it. blah de blah Last tune. Absolute summer anthem. The sun's come out again here. It was raining when I got here. That's it from me for this week, Steve BC. I will be trying to make more tunes in the week just to relieve the kind of madness of lockdown my need to create at the moment is higher than ever just full of ideas wanting to get stuff done this one of course Marky and Bungle's bootleg of back like that and that's it I as soon as this finishes I will be um, putting I'm going to fast forward through the video and I will add all the tracks that are out that I've played today onto that Spotify playlist uh, and I will archive this straight away and upload it to the Spearhead Records LTD YouTube channel if you want to get the proper full quality version. Right, that's it then. Oh, hello Amanda and Johnny, hope you're well. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to shut up and play this. I'll see you Saturday next week, 2pm right here. Stay safe, peeps.
chick on the side I might have had. One or two, two of them silly bras was enough to know you. Rolling with him, trying to get revenge. That's what you just do, do. Come through the box in this brand new thing. Knowing that me and this dude ain't friends. Just me what I did for what you do. Get your man back like that. Come through the box in this brand new thing. Knowing that me and this dude ain't friends. Just me what I did for what you do. Get your man back like that. No. Come through the box in this brand new thing. Knowing that me and this dude ain't friends. Just me what I did for what you do. Get your man back like that. Come through the box in this brand new thing. Knowing that me and this dude ain't friends. Just me what I did for what you do. Get your man back like that. Shorty, what is you think? Well, absolute massive respect. I can't believe there's a hundred people with me right till the end. Well, that's it. Click follow or whatever you have to do on the page that alerts you when we're back next week. The beard is, look, I might just, it's going to be down here by the time we're out of lockdown. Anyway, that's it. Back like that. DJ Markey and uh, Bungle. I am out of here. I'm about to click the end live stream. I'll see you all next week at two o'clock. Peace.